Hey everybody, welcome back to Muck Club. Today our video is pre-recorded and there's a couple reasons for it. Number one, um, today when I'm recording this, it is Father's Day and I'm spending the time with my family. We've got some family coming from out of town. And so my mother came home from uh, the rehabilitation hospital this past week. And so this is our first opportunity to go out and eat lunch with her, uh, with the whole family. We've got family coming in from out of town to spend the day with with mom and dad and uh so um you know for their privacy i am not uh you know doing a live stream with all my family in the video and uh so that's one of the reasons for that also my tripod uh again broke and so i have to order a new tripod i'm gonna order like two or three of them uh and hopefully they'll be back in, in a couple of days or in less than a week and i can start getting some videos up for you guys but anyway uh today I'm at Lori's Family Restaurant at 17020 McConnellsville Road in Caldwell, Ohio. And that's where we're going to be eating today. Okay, so today we are at Lori's Family Restaurant in Caldwell, Ohio. This is a dine-in restaurant, but they do have takeout available. Today I am dining in as it's Father's Day, and I'm having lunch with my dad, my mom who just came home a few days ago from rehab after her stroke, one of my brothers and his son, an aunt and a couple cousins from out of town. Now the restaurant here is spacious with two large dining rooms and a third smaller room for overflow. As we're a party of eight, they put us in one of the larger rooms and set us around a large table where we were seated comfortably. They have daily specials, and today they offered your choice of a baked chicken or baked steak dinner with mashed potatoes and gravy, noodles, and glazed carrots as the vegetable of the day for $11.49. or eleven dollars and forty-nine cents. But I decided to order from the menu. Their dinner selections are served with your choice of two sides, a roll and butter. And if you want, you can substitute the dine-in salad bar for one of your sides for an additional $4.99. The salad bar looked fresh today. There was lettuce for your salad. Those are sliced beets on the bottom left there. Then they have salad toppings such as sliced eggs, tomatoes, cucumbers, and mushrooms. And here's fresh coleslaw, cottage cheese, radishes, and I'm not sure what that was in the back two containers there. I didn't get a good shot of it, but I think that may be pickles on the right. Then they have vinegar oil, bacon bits, sunflower seeds, croutons, and two different types of wafer crackers. Baked beans in the back there and a variety of salad dressings. Shredded mozzarella and cheddar cheeses. Pasta, some pudding, sliced onions, sliced green bell peppers, and some more puddings. I've had their salad bar before and I was very tempted by it today, but I decided to try a variety of sides instead for the sake of this review. I decided to go for the country fried steak, which is always fantastic here. I've had country fried steak at other local restaurants and they don't even come close to Lori's country fried steaks. It's a breaded certified Angus steak, which is one of the best quality kinds of beef you can get, capped with white country gravy. And let me tell you, it is delicious. Well worth the $11.49 for the meal, plus two sides in a roll. For my two sides, I decided to try their french fries and their seasoned fries, since I've been comparing fries from other local fast food places. But if fries aren't your thing, you can also choose baked potato, mashed potatoes, tater tots, fried breaded mushrooms, onion chips, grilled vegetables, a small toss salad, or the vegetable of the day, which today, as I said, was a glazed carrots. They also have coleslaw, applesauce, and cottage cheese, but if you get the salad bar, as I noted earlier, those come on the bar. Staying with the french fries theme, I also ordered an appetizer of their sweet potato fries for $4.99. They also have potato wedges with a side of ranch, deep fried dill pickles, cheese sticks with marinara sauce, breaded cauliflower, onion rings, mac and cheese, and corn nuggets. Almost all of those sound great to me, so I'm definitely going to have to try some more of these options in my future visits. 
First up, they brought me the appetizer of the sweet potato fries, and here they are. They're cut just like regular french fries, but instead of white potatoes, they're cut from sweet potatoes, hence the orangish color. They're crisp and solid, not floppy at all, and a really great texture. I didn't care for sweet potatoes growing up, but my taste buds apparently changed, because I really enjoy them as an adult, particularly sweet potato pie around Thanksgiving season. But these fries have a really nice sweet potato taste. Fresh, crispy, as I said, see how easily they snap, and leaving a very pleasant taste in your mouth. Look at how hard and crispy this one is. There were several just like it. Well done, and I'm loving it. Like those random well done bits mixed in with your McDonald's fries. This is how you do french fries. The texture is perfect, and the sweet potato taste is wonderful. They're seasoned very well, and as I hold some of them up to the camera, you can probably see some of the flecks of spices on them. These fries were a lot like the old Pringles commercial. Once you pop, you can't stop. Once I got a taste of these fries, I couldn't stop eating them, shoveling them into my mouth until my plate was clean. I definitely recommend Lori's sweet potato fries, and I give them a 9 out of 10. Next we have their thin sliced french fries, and boy these look good. As you can see, they're sliced with the skin still on the potatoes, and personally I really like that, so I grab a handful and toss them into my mouth. A completely different texture from the sweet potato fries, these are greasier, floppier, and they kind of bunch together, hence why I grab a handful instead of just one at a time. 
Now, they're not excessively greasy to the point that they leave a thick residue on your fingers. I didn't have to wipe my fingers constantly, but there was that slight greasy moisture to them. And I know that's probably not the healthiest sign, but darn it if it doesn't make them taste good. These are well done, well seasoned, and very flavorful. They remind me of McDonald's fries a little bit, but maybe that's because of the thickness and the texture. But also a little bit like a bloomin' onion, texture-wise. If you never had a if you never had a bloomin' onion, you need to try one sometime. They're definitely not healthy, but they are freaking delicious. But anyway, these are fantastic fries. Almost as good as the sweet potato fries. I'll give these an 8 out of 10. Very enjoyable, and I would definitely get them again. But those sweet potato fries were darn near perfection. Next on the menu, we have the seasoned fries. Thicker cut, and as you'll see, some of them are almost like potato wedges. So they literally have a huge variety of potato options for you to choose from. They're all different, and each has its own qualities that make it stand out. These particular fries are well seasoned. As you can see, the flecks of seasoning glistening on the fries. And they're sliced with the skin still on them. Once again, a nice touch in my opinion. They vary in size from wee little nubs to a couple fries that are actually a bit longer than the bowl that they're served in. They're crispy and undercooked compared to the others that we've tried, but that's not a bad thing. In fact, I grew up on a farm and I remember eating uncooked potatoes as a kid on occasion. While we would sit with a paring knife and peel the fresh potatoes from the garden, occasionally we'd just bite into one and eat it right then and there. It was a unique taste, and these remind me of that. Nice and crisp on the inside with a solid crunch, and the seasoned exterior gave them an extra level of flavor. These fries were served very hot, and you can see me at some points here blowing on them, and even on my hands, uh, shaking my hands a little bit to cool them down. These I will give a 7.5 out of 10. Now, all three of these potato options I tried today are very good, and I would order any one of them again. But for my personal tastes, I liked these. I really liked the floppy thin cut fries we had a few minutes ago. And I absolutely loved the sweet potato fries. Again, your taste buds are different from mine, so you may prefer one of the others. But with all these options from which to choose, and all of them so good, you can't go wrong.
here's the dinner roll. It's soft and a nice color. It's kind of reminds me of the brown and serve rolls my mom used to fix when we were kids. So you can see here that I've opened up the top and it's nice on the inside, not burned or overdone in any way. And once I can figure out how to open this buttercup, I add a small pat of butter to the roll. And as you can see, the butter is starting to melt already. You can see that the roll is warm and fresh. It's got a good taste, once again reminding me of the brown and serve rolls from my childhood. Just a little bit dry, so I scoop up a bit of gravy from my steak to finish it off. Sometimes things don't seem right, but then nothing does. And this old life, that's why we need the Lord inside. Inside your heart, inside your heart. there's a need for peace and love inside yourself. Inside yourself. There's a calling from above, saying that. And finally, we have the country fried steak. Once again, this is certified Angus beef with our signature white country style gravy. You can see the flex of seasoning there in the gravy. Now, I love their country fried steak. And nine times out of ten, that's what I would normally order here. Only, usually I would order it with mashed potatoes and brown gravy. That's white gravy on the steak brown gravy on the potatoes. Today, the gravy is just a little bit disappointing. It doesn't seem as fresh as usual, and it's kind of clumpy. The taste is still great, but the texture is a little bit off. So where their country fried steak is literally normally a 10 out of 10, today, I would say it's an eight and a half. It tears apart easily, but it's usually more tender. It must just be an off day for the country fried steak because I'm telling you, every other time I've ordered it, it has been perfection. So I hate to give them a bad review based on what's obviously a one-off. Don't get me wrong, the steak is still good. It's just not perfect today like it usually is here. So while I give their country fried steak on any other day a 10 out of 10, today I give it an eight and a half. Still a respectable score.
So that's my lunch today at Lurice Family Restaurant in Caldwell, Ohio, just off exit 25 from Interstate 77. The total for all this came to $20.56, including tax, and not including the tip. A comparable price as we've been seeing for a fast food meal that fills me up in one sitting, and it's actual restaurant quality food. So I consider it a bargain. I'll definitely be coming back to try some more of these menu options, and I highly recommend it to anybody who happens to be passing through the area. So happy belated Father's Day from my family to yours, and thank you for watching Muck Club. If you liked today's video, please tap the like button and consider leaving a comment, maybe recommending some place that you think I should try out in a future video. If you'd like to see more content here like this, subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications as this series is usually live streamed on Sunday afternoons. And getting notifications will help you to join us in time to chat live and give your own feedback. And of course, it helps my channel with the algorithm. We're just under 300 subscribers as of the time I record this. So we're well on our way to 500. And when we reach 500 subscribers, I'll have a special giveaway for a random subscriber. So recommend the channel to your friends and you can all have a chance to win the prize. Anyway, thanks again for being part of our online family. Happy Father's Day, and we'll see you throughout the week with reaction reviews, the light side music reactions, conversations, and then next weekend, another episode of Muck Club. Have a great week, and we'll see you then. Bye, everybody.